All right, guys, I'm painting my planters, so if you all want to watch, feel free to do so. Um, just wanted to include you all on this particular process, all right? Um, a quick thing, um, I know you all aren't on live just yet, but I had some, like, the plywood that I had, the shiplap that I created, it had, like, holes in there. So what I had to do was um, pretty much seal it up, and I sealed it up using using this um i really wasn't pressed to use the wood filler um this is something simple to patch up those small holes so guys i just wanted to show you all um my little process of me painting my planters i just wanted to let you all be involved in every step of the way all right so um yeah I don't know if you can see, I have like these little spots. I think I missed those. Um, and I'll just fill that up with, with this right here. There you go. All right. Perfect. What is that? Okay. All right. So for those who are um, just watching this, I am painting my planters. I'm painting them in eggshell white. Um, I only use eggshell white because this is what I had on hand. I didn't, you know, want to go out and purchase new um, new paint. So.
it's not gonna look good. Might as well commit to it. guys um before i started painting this i had um pretty much took a sandpaper and i went through all of the grooves to uh i guess smooth them out because i didn't want that rough look of that unfinished wood the cutting of the wood or whatever um so i did that before i started painting hey phenomenal thank you so much for tuning in i'm just painting my planners um I'm pretty sure you saw me at the beginning when I uh, first put these together. So at this point, I'm just, you know, painting them up before I add the, uh, the trim on it. much use this much paint right here I got this from the uh, Walmart five dollars and I used some of it I think what was left of it was probably to right here and I believe that should be enough for these planters that I'm that I'm doing pretty much one roll through the paint whatever is pretty much good enough for one side and uh, or two sides so um, yeah so it's enough it stretches so I'm not too concerned with the corners because I'm gonna put the trim on the corners so if you can see this right here all of that would eat me up which actually I'm gonna paint that but that wouldn't be seen because I have the trim, so. That thing was bothering me. My um, tiki torches, the uh, chain was kind of rattling, so I had to get that situated. All right. Oop. Almost got away from me.
eight. So how's it looking so far? <laughs> Give me one second, guys. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Thank you so much, guys. I try to get the music playing um, to kind of, you know, help the time go by. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's kind of it's kind of uh, low. Uh, phenomenal, you said, have I ever worked with epoxy? I haven't. I haven't. And I'm not opposed to trying that. Let me let you see my face. Hey, Tyron. Okay, but I was moving this so you all could see my face. There we go. Um, yeah, I haven't worked with epoxy um, as of yet. Um, I'm definitely willing to explore that. So um, maybe one, one of these days I'll uh, do a project that will require me to do that. I agree, Phenomenal. So for those who are tuning in, I'm just using this much. Um, it wasn't a whole lot left, but it's enough to use for this project.
Guys, I can't wait until this thing is done. This is gonna be really nice. Um, and what I'll probably do is go over this with um, like spray paint, the, um, the clear coat or something like that. I may try to do that over this just to, you know, give it a little something. Um, but I'm gonna be, it's gonna be really nice once this is done, guys, and I put the black trim on it all the way around. It's gonna be really nice. And thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, just painting the planter, and I just, you know, thought you all might, well, you know, like to see me do this. I don't know, it's very therapeutic right now, you know, just doing this. So, Tyron, if you're still on, um, how was your, uh, how was your Wednesday? Did everyone have a good hump day? And by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna put uh, my snake plants in these and I have another plant, um, I don't know the name of it, but it's a larger plant. I'm gonna put it in, put it in these as well. No Zoom for the kids? Nice. It's always good to um, to sleep in. Yes, Tari, and I do not want to get in trouble with the music. So the music that I'm playing is, um, it doesn't have a copyright to it, um, but kudos to Lakey Inspired for his music and also um, Joachim Karud. Those, I like to use their music, you know, when I'm um, doing my videos. Did you, um, I don't know if you caught the, the live I did about probably an hour ago or 30 minutes ago. I did a little um, glass tray with like white rocks and um, a little succulent clip I got from the Dollar Tree. And it's really nice. So if you have time, just go back and check that out. Um, I think it's closer to the end of the video. So, um, but yeah, it was like a spur of the moment, you know, DIY hack or DIY, you know, project. So it's really cool.
All right. Okay, let's see what's going on. Phenomenal, you say you're going to order a banana tree? Oh, I love banana trees. Oh my gosh, those are so awesome. I really want one of those in my um, in my house, a banana, a banana plant tree, whatever you call that. Um, you say you, you, you have about 12 plants. Go about 12 plants, basement and four trees. So you got 12 plants and you have four trees. That's nice. But I love banana trees. Oh my gosh, those things are so awesome. I don't think they survive well on the East Coast, but I would love to have that in my backyard. But of course, HOA will be knocking at my door telling me to take it down. Tyron, you said that um, uh, your, you and your kids are updating your bathrooms. Awesome. Please send me the before and after pics. I would love that. That would be really awesome. That's a really good, that's a really good, um, really good project. Yeah, uh, Phenomenal, send me some pictures and I can um, share that on the, um, on the video. Like when you all send me pictures and stuff, guys, I try to include it on my actual videos when I start editing and stuff like that. So um, it was, oh my gosh, I forgot my viewer's name, um, but she sent me a picture of her, um, Oh, she sent me a picture of um, her pill and stick tiles, whatever, and I included that in one of my videos for an update and showing you the versatility of those pill and stick tiles. So, um, guys, definitely send in your projects, you know, that you've done, and um, I can definitely include that into some of my videos when I edit. Guys, when I tell you, HOA would never let me be, would never let me be great. But I've learned to roll with the punches, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna get the bottom of these planters with this right here, foam brush. That is so awesome, Tyrene. So the, um, my floating shelves motivated you all. That's really awesome. Well, that makes me feel really good. Yeah, it really didn't take much. Just, you know, throw that up in the bathroom and you can decorate it any way you want. It's, yeah, I'm glad that I, you know, put that in there. Guys, I could really go for some Frappuccino right now or something. Some mocha coffee or something. <sighs> yes, phenomenal. Different strokes for different folks. That HOA is uh, no joke. Tyrant, I had to roll my trash can around on Monday, and actually I have to do it tonight, um, cause, because tomorrow is trash day. We have uh, Monday and Thursdays are our trash days. So, oh my gosh, guys, that day when I fell in the backyard <laughs> in that snow, <laughs> it was horrible. Like, um, the day that time we had that bad snow, it was like a few weeks, some weeks ago, and, um, in the snow, I was trying to roll my uh, my trash can out to the front. And as I was pulling it, the trash can, <laughs> I slipped, fell on my back, and the trash can fell on top of me. <laughs> I mean, to add insult to injury, trash, I mean, that trash receptacle falling on me, I was just so hurt. I'm like, I was praying no one saw me because if they did, I'm pretty sure I would have heard laughter in the wind and I wouldn't have been a happy camper. <laughs>
nice so I have five people online. Awesome. If you all can just like the video so far. So is anyone doing anything? Thank you, Tyron. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think my pride was hurt a little bit when I fell. Um, I think that was about it. Um, yeah, my pride was hurt. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't the only thing that was hurt. I hurt my toe when I uh, when I fell back. So my toenail, I hate to be a little graphic guys, but it wasn't really nasty or whatever, but it kind of like bent back a little bit, but it didn't pull up any skin. It just kind of like created a crease. And you know, doing that, it kind of, you know, it was kind of painful to walk temporarily. So what I just did is just, you know, wrapped it up. Um, it, was, it wasn't bleeding or anything like that. It didn't bleed, but it was like, you know, when you hit something in your fingernail, it kind of like bends back a little bit. I guess I'm giving you a little bit, a little bit of TMI. That means I need to uh, have my toenails clipped. <laughs> but they're not bad, guys. My toes aren't bad. Yeah, I should sense HOA the bill. <laughs> oh, uh, phenomenal. My email is thecreativeway at gmail.com. So pretty much my uh, YouTube name at gmail.com. It's a little cool out here. So, um, yeah, but today was a really exciting day. I was just thinking, reflecting back. Um, I can't wait to get those, um, the butcher block countertops. Um, all I need to do is just bring in, uh, you know, arrive with a truck and have them loaded up and I can bring it here. Um, but um, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna need probably, um, probably like another, like another butcher block. So a total of three butcher block countertops um, to complete the vision that I have for the kitchen. Um, but um, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. I just wanna get the the long side and also the, um, the peninsula or the island of the countertop. I wanna get those parts first. And then once I make my cuts and stuff, then I can move forward with that. But I can't wait to share that process with you.
wipe my hands. You can definitely do it. Uh, you can definitely do this, uh, Tyron. And I'm glad you like the way it's looking so far. Um, it's really, it's really easy. I mean, it was very, it was a simple process. I wouldn't say easy because, you know, it's also depending, depending on, or dependent on the tools that you have accessible. Now, if you have like a miter saw, you can definitely do this. Um, but if you um, get your material, materials from like Lowe's or Home Depot, you can get the associates to cut it down for you. And um, especially like the structure of the, uh, the countertops, you can get them to cut it down. And you don't necessarily have to do the, um, uh, you don't necessarily have to do the, the 45 degree miter cuts. Uh, if I can get that. You see that, uh, oh gosh. You see that miter cut right here? You don't have to do that. You can just do like the regular, um, the regular, uh, ooh, what's wrong with my, um, my stand? There we go. But you can just do like the regular uh, uh, joining uh, option. You know, um, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, you know what I mean. I was gonna try to find some wood, but um, but yeah. But you don't have to do this cut. It's very simple. Um, you can do like a traditional box, and um, you can paint it if you want, or you can just add um, shiplap if you want. Um, they also make um, paneling at Home Depot, so you can get those and you can cut those. Get a box cutter and cut those. Just be careful when you use that, okay? Um, but this whole thing is very simple to do, um, and. Yeah, it's something that I can always say like, okay, I made this when people come to my home and it's a really good feeling. Sorry to have my back to the camera, guys, but you know, I was trying to get these little pieces painted. So um, last night before, um, you know, for dinner, I pretty much, um, I had some chicken breasts and I threw those um, in the crock pot and let those go for three hours. It was so good after. So what I did was um, I had a big pack of chicken, chicken breasts, and I just sliced those in halves and I just laid those in layers. What I did is I put butter at the base of the crock pot. I seasoned the bottom of the crock pot with um, the Creole seasoning that I used in uh, one of my other videos with the cabbage. Um, and I did garlic powder and, um, oh, and Mrs. Dash. So I seasoned the bottom of the pot, then I laid my chicken on top of it. Then I did, you know, sprinkle some seasoning on the top of that, you know, just layered it and cut up some onions, threw it in there, let that bad boy go for three hours. It was amazing. Um, so what I'm gonna do with that chicken is, like I told you all, I'm on a health kick right now, trying to, you know, just eat better. So I'm gonna do um, chicken salads. So pretty much do like regular salads and just cut up some chicken and, you know, put it in the salad. Um, 
So that'll be my, that's going to be my dinner tonight. So I'm going to try to, you know, focus on eating better. But, oh my gosh, guys, when I was cooking that chicken, it smelled so good in the house. Ugh. What are some of your favorite um, crock pot dishes? You're welcome, Tyron. No problem, anytime. let this dry up guys and I may have to go over the bottom one last time just to make sure that it's completely covered in white okay Tyron you said turkey wings okay funny thing you mentioned that um, I have turkey wings in the freezer. Haven't cooked those yet. So how do you prepare yours in the uh, crock pot? Do you thaw yours out and throw it in the crock pot or do you put them in frozen, season them? Um, how do you do that? Cause I've been wanting to cook those turkey wings and you know, just never got around to doing it. And guys, please don't laugh at me. I have a whole turkey in my freezer that I haven't cooked since last, well, and I got it like around Thanksgiving time last year. Is the turkey still good? I mean, frozen? I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying my best not to get paint on this. Okay, so Tyron, you say you thaw out. Add some chicken broth in the crock pot with the seasoned turkey wings. Okay, cool. How long do you put it on? Um, uh, how long do you leave the turkey wings inside of the uh, crock pot? Six hours. Sounds about right. Okay. I may try that. Like put it on early in the morning. And then by the time I'm done with my day or whatever or the afternoon or whatever, I'll take it out and have it for like lunch or dinner.
this dry. I'm gonna put this in the house right quick, guys. Give me one second. All right, I am back, I am back. My hands are all uh, messed up. But guys, so these are my paint, uh, my planners so far. And um, you all know, of course, I'm gonna put the trim on the corner. It's the black trim. And I'm gonna do it around the top as well. I've already painted those yesterday. I painted those black, so um, I think it's going to be a really nice looking planter. I'm going to put uh, my snake plants in here. I have two snake plants and I have one. I don't know what to call that tree. I don't know if it's like a bonsai or I don't know, a Japanese plant. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice plant though. I like to, it's fun to because you all know I'm a science buff and you know, that's what I got my degree in, biology pre-med. But, um, but um, I like to see, you know, when I put the plants to the window and when I rotate them and see how they just gravitate to the window. Like, it's really nice to see that. It's like the plants have a mind of their own. They just move uh, to be closer to the light. And that's just really awesome. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, I, I like the way that, I like the way they're set up, you know, so. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is what it's looking like so far. And um, I just wanted to include you all in the process. All right, Keith, <laughs> last time we taught you were getting a countertop, cops catch up. <laughs> Guys, so you all missed it earlier. I was in uh, floor and decor getting um, my butcher block countertop. And before my life had cut off, we were um, trying to, um, we were, um, I was trying to make sure that I could fit the butcher block countertop in my Camry. And, um, you know, um, I went out to the car, measured it, it could fit. I go back in and I say, you know, hey, look, I can fit into my car. They say we can't really do that. You know, we need a, you know, you need to sign a waiver in order to do that. But Red Stick, he made a comment. He said, look, you should let them put the butcher block in your car and tell them that you'll pay for it once they put it in your car. But while they're doing that, jump in my car and drive off and just yell in the wind, good vibes only. And I said, <laughs> I was like, no way. I do not want to be on a high speed chase over some butcher block countertop. And when they catch me, all of you all see my mugshot like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, that was really funny at the moment, guys. And uh, that was that was that was hilarious. But imagine if I did something like that, you know, uh, they load up the butcher block in my car and I just drive off yelling good vibes only, you know, headlines would pretty much read YouTuber steals butcher block yelling good vibes only. He was later apprehended <laughs> on the side of the road trying to <laughs> trying to hang on to the, uh, the butcher block. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was really funny. Hey, Cowboy Cowboy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I gave you a shout out earlier um, for giving me, uh, for sending me that email. It was very helpful. But what I did decide to do is um, purchase a butcher block that was already made. And what I'm going to do is, you know, do all of my finishes, you know, sand it down and, you know, you know, put the ceiling on it, the oil, all that good stuff, you know. Um, but I'm still going to do all of those tips that you gave me 
um, and I'm going to repurpose the wood that I used uh, for the butcher block countertop. But kudos to you. Thank you so much for uh, giving me that advice. That was really helpful. And the links that you sent me as well. That was very, very helpful. Thank you so much. But um, yeah, so, but that was hilarious earlier. That whole, you know, cops and robbers thing or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, but I just went on, I, my goal today was to just go out and purchase just one, one slab of butcher block countertop. Okay, Keith said I would, I would get one million subscriber, a uh, one million subscriber plaque for sure. <laughs> uh-uh, I don't want it, I don't want it. I can't even enjoy it. I'll be too busy behind bars over some butcher block countertop. Like, <laughs> I would probably have to use my phone call just to get updates, like, where are my subscribers at? That would be a sad life. If I, <laughs> I'm in jail behind butcher block countertops, and the only thing I'm worried about is my subscribers. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. But, um, yeah, so my goal today was to just buy one um, butcher block countertop, an eight foot countertop and that was going to fit in my car. I was going to bring it home and then try to go back and get the other. Uh, yes, I did purchase, I did purchase two of those, um, red stick. I, um, because I had to come back with a truck and I don't have the truck uh, just now, but I got to, I have to get one. Um, but because I had to do that option, I just went on and paid, went on ahead and paid for two butcher block countertops. The eight foot one, um, and the width of that is like a standard countertop, 25 inches. And then I also bought the um, the option, the um, the island option, the six foot one, but that one, the width is three feet. So that's enough to have like um, a lip on the counter, you know, where you can just sit there and you know, you can eat and your legs can, you know, be underneath the counter, if you will, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so I went on and bought those two. It came up to four hundred and forty-three dollars. Um, it's a good investment for my kitchen. You know, it's a long, it's a permanent fixture, and I can't wait for it to be done. Um, but I will be getting another butcher block countertop because there's some more pieces that I want to add to what I'm doing. And um, I did say earlier I wanted to do a waterfall if that's what you call it, a waterfall countertop. So here's a counter and I wanted to do a part, the piece that comes down and I want it to be uniform. So it looks like I will be buying another island butcher block countertop um, because I need that for, you know, the three feet width. So I can't wait to get that set up. Um, and I've watched enough tutorials to figure out how to do this on my own. Um, and I really can't wait to have this all recorded and, you know, have you all see it, you know, it's going to be so awesome. And I can't wait to put in my, my farmhouse sink. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. And I, and, um, I don't know if I, I think I put it in my community wall. I sent you all a picture, um, a picture of my faucet that I'm going to put in as well. It's a black faucet, black, a black, um, I guess like a stainless steel faucet. So, um, I really can't wait to show you all that. Um, and then on top of that, you know, the backsplash. So this kitchen is going to be amazing. And, um, I'm going to do a lot of videos in here. It's going to make me want to cook more now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm just excited about that, guys. Thank you so much, uh, Keith. Yeah, um, just letting it dry a little bit, uh, my planters. And um, once it dries, I'm going to, um, give me one sec. Let me just show you what I have. Um,
All right, I'm back. Oh my gosh, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. That cabbage whip, you know what? Should I do cabbage? That would be nice, but I don't even have any sausage. I gotta get, I gotta buy sausage, you know? But I could do plain. Okay, so. This is the trim that I spray painted. Um, yeah, I spray painted it on this blue tarp. So when I pulled it up, it was grabbing pieces of the tarp. Um, um, I won't be placing a plastic liner in these. I initially thought about that, but I do have my, um, the plant, um, the flower pots that I'm gonna insert inside of this that will pretty much protect the inside of it. Um, so that's the goal. Now, if I find out that I need to do um, plastic um, protectors, whatever, or, you know, plastic inserts and stuff to pr protect the lining of the planters, then I'll do that, you know. But for the time being, I went out to um, Home Depot and bought those uh, flower pots to insert into this. But this is a trim that I'm gonna be put putting on Putting on this. Are you all getting that vision? Guys, I'm super excited about this. I am super excited about this. And it's all came from just like going to Ikea and just like seeing, seeing those little panels and just off the cuffs, off the cusp, but just winging it, you know, thinking, okay, let's just make some planners with those. $3 for a pack of two. So pretty much each one of these are $3 um, because it contains like the two, uh, two panels that came in a pack. Um, each panel I cut it in half and uh, made my miter cuts and boom here you go but I'm gonna clean these up these uh, the trim because I don't know if you can see thank you Keith thank you so much phenomenal I actually do have a business, um, Keith, you know, um, right now, one of the things that is kind of thriving right now that I'm doing are the, um, the valences, the box valences. And, um, yeah, that's been doing very well. And I know you all, I mean, you probably seen the video that I posted, um, last year, um, I did a valence for, um, or showed you all how I did a valence for my nephew's nursery and they came out really good. Guys, I need to put chapstick on or something because this cold air is making my lips feel very dry. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so I'm excited. I'm excited about this planner thing. I'm excited about it. One second, guys. And guys, you know how I feel about the paint, <laughs> the paint in the uh, kitchen, because I don't know if you all saw um, the post that I made, like, I want to say it was like last year, right before I did the, um, the Christmas tree um, video, the Christmas tree live. I was, I think I had, I was painting, no, I was not painting anything. I was moving the paint can um, in my kitchen. I was moving it somewhere else and it fell and emptied all over my hardwood floor. I sent you all a picture. If you um, go to my community wall, just, um, you know, just scroll down and you'll see that mess 
that was on the floor. Guys, I was so bummed out. But um, I cleaned it out really quick. You know, it was a lot. In that moment, I was like, how am I gonna get this up really fast when I have to go on, I have to be on live in an hour. And it's like, I didn't want the paint to sit, you know, to sit on the floor and stain or whatever. But um, I got it up so quick, guys. But ugh, I do not like to have paint inside my kitchen anymore unless I, you know, painting the cabinets or something like that. But it was horrible. Oh, awesome. So what you can do with something like this, um, if you make this zigzag, you can use like a, um, you could definitely do the shiplap or whatever, but put some type of uh, protectant on top of it that'll make it weather, that'll weatherproof it, if you will. And it will be amazing outside, like in the corners, like back here, but I have to do my fences, guys. I would do something like that, but I have to redo those fences. touching up some of these things, you know, um, seeing little spots here and there. So what's for dinner tonight? Because it's St. Patrick's Day, guys, I have, I mean, I wanted to I wanted to do like a, well, not personally cook it, but I wanted shepherd's pie, you know, just to be in, in theme with St. Patrick's Day. And I am not wearing any green. Oh gosh. Um, I don't want anyone to pinch me, but yeah. Keith, what did you say? The HOA would definitely let me know when it's time. Right. Yeah, I was just talking to my neighbor. Um, I was just talking to my neighbor about the HOA stuff and it's like how they, you know, now it's like they want money now more than ever. And it's crazy. They find the smallest things um, to actually complain about or, you know, it's, but it's crazy. But it's like we have no choice but to deal with it unless, you know, we collectively just, you know, either vote those people out if we have the power to do so or just basically collectively um, complain about certain issues, you know. But until then, guys, we just have no choice but to deal with it. So what's for dinner, guys? Ooh, it's getting cold out here, guys. I'm on a grid to go in. That's true. That's true, Tyron. Yeah. They, oh my gosh, guys, I was so upset. Okay, if you can see, hold on. If you can see right here, this stump, I was so blown, guys, because, hold on, is that? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's, oh yeah, right here, this tree stump. It was a huge treat and it was my privacy treat too. Like it was, you know, in the spring when it blooms and stuff like that. And 
it was just like it served as a privacy tree but then they cut it down and just you know I was like what was the purpose of that I mean if you're gonna cut down this tree cut down the other trees but it was I mean I loved the fact that it gave like a sense of privacy without it being too you know too private or whatever uh, just for the top pretty much for the top uh, top level Ah, it's going to be in the 90s in Central Florida this week. Nice. Oh, nice, phenomenal. Seven layer, seven layer salad and chicken soup. Oh, wow. That sounds good. That's right, Tyron. Thanking Jesus that these, uh, that the power stays on. Right. less trees the better so how are things out there um keith in louisiana like is i mean i'm not sure is it hurricane season now or has that passed or how's it how's everything holding up over there weather wise Key, I think I'm ready to uh, I think I do want to cook some cabbage I may run out to the store and grab some okay I didn't even see that comment Keith so you said it's storming right now praying that the power doesn't go out oh I missed that comment yeah hopefully your power doesn't go out Yeah, you see those two little wimpy trees in the back. <laughs> I don't like those. Excuse me. I said, give me my, give me that big tree back. That, you know. But you know what? Come to think of it, that tree, it was, a, um, that tree was a little close to, um, I mean, it wasn't too close to my fence, whatever, but it was a pine tree and all the pine needles just like fell into my backyard. So just now, I'm just now thinking about it. It's a good thing, but you know what? That's something that I would have, I was willing to sacrifice. I didn't mind the pine, pine needles in my backyard to have, you know, the, um, you know, the privacy tree or whatever. Phenomenal, you so say your battery is dying? Okay, take care. Thank you so much for joining the live. Good vibes only, be safe. Love you. And I'm gonna check out those pictures too, phenomenal. Thank you so much for sending those. Oh my gosh, I hope I, you know, right now guys, I wanna say it's like in the 40s right now, um, but hopefully we get that 60s and 70s again because that was some amazing weather, amazing weather. Um, but yeah. Um, for those, let me show you right quick what I made um, on my li live an hour ago. All right, guys, so an hour ago, I made this. Let 
and pretty much this was a glass container with a lid and um, what I did and I paid a dollar and 49 cents for the, for the glass container and I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased some white rocks and two um, two little fake uh, I guess you call them succulent plants yeah and these are something that you can like throw on a table no, uh, Tyron, this is not an ashtray, although it looks like one, but it was a lid. It was a lid to this right here. This was a lid to this. And so, you know, if I wasn't going to do this, I didn't know what other purposes would serve because I don't smoke. So, you know, this wouldn't be an ashtray and it would probably just sit, be sitting around. I would probably put this on top of it, but I don't know. But for... A total of, let me see, one, four dollars and fifty cents. You know, can be it for these two. And imagine getting this at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Michaels, or um, what? I mean, where's another store? Um, I don't know, Pottery Barn, whatever. You know, these will cost a whole lot. So, yeah, this is something that you don't have to spend a lot of money on, and you can put this anywhere. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, I just saw your comment, Keith. Yeah, Zyrtec, I get allergies, too. But, yeah, so I told you all to remind me, um, when I finish my countertop, my butcher block countertop, I want to put these on... Um, I want to put these on, on my countertop, you know, as a decoration, you know. So remind me, guys, when I'm done with finishing my butcher block countertop, remind me to make sure that these are on the um, on the uh, the countertop. All right, be right back. So, but yeah, I guess I did that like during my last live. I did a um, an impromptu Dollar Tree haul. You know, guys, I like to show you all what I purchased, you know. And, um, but yeah, so um, that was a part of the Dollar Tree haul. And yeah. <laughs> um, but guys, um, that's... That's about it. I think, you know, during this time, I'm just like really trying to speed up the process on this butcher block countertop. And once I get that done, I can just move, uh, move faster with, um, you know, doing the, definitely doing the, the farmhouse sink, installing the, um, the faucet, and then doing the backsplash, and then uh, moving to other projects in the house. Um, and coupled with, you know, with the business that I do have, I do uh, make things for uh, my clients. So right now, like I told you all, what's really doing well is the box valences. Um, people really like the box valences and, um, you know, and I tend to, you know, I get their vision and they just tell me what they want and I just come in, I measure and I build it. And I come in and, and I install it for them, you know. So they they like that process. So, um, but yeah. Staggers and decorators. Ah, oh. so what's, what's that zigzag? Staggers and decorators. And thank you so much. Like, that's the goal. I want things to look high in but don't really cost that much like you all can do this you all can do this you know down to the um the pill and stick tiles for the backsplash it looks high in i mean well from a distance but if you get really close it's like you know 
but it's really good. I really like those. Um, but it's, um, I am so embarrassed, Zigzag and Tyrant. <laughs> Stagers, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. Oh my gosh, God, that's so embarrassed. I couldn't even pronounce stagers. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is embarrassing. <laughs> I said staggers and decorators. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I got it zigzag, I got it. Thank you, Tyron, for like breaking it down to me, stage and hers. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny. Uh, oh my gosh, that tickled me so bad. <laughs> uh. Um, Keith, you asked me, did I um? Did I ever watch Design on a Dime? I think I, I think I did one time. I think I have seen that before. I think I have seen that before, Design, Design on a Dime. Guys, I would love to be on HGTV. That would be really awesome. But they would have to do a lot of editing because, you know, sometimes I can get a little impatient with certain things, you know. Um, you know, with building things, if it doesn't, you know, <laughs> if it doesn't go well, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I try to get frustrated, but you know, they would have to edit that out, the frustration. Oh, your spelling was, was good, zigzag. I just, oh my gosh, I don't know why it says staggers. What, what in the world is a stagger anyway? Keith, you said my, um, my followers can now be called staggers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tyra, you said it's still on Pluto? Oh, okay. Oh, guys, that was so... Oof. If my brother would have seen that, he would have clowned me so bad. <laughs> Oh gosh, but yeah, but thank you all so much for, you know, like, you know, I try to do, you know, do my best with, you know, doing these projects and, um, you know, and it's my goal to just, you know, like I said before, just to make things look, you know, high end, if you will, but doing it on a budget and using things, you know, that really doesn't cost money, uh, cost, cost a lot of money. Or you can also, like I said, and like my video from last year, you can get, um, you can get scrap wood from Lowe's, depending on your Lowe's, but you can get scrap wood and turn those into, into, um, projects as well, you know, because they're not selling the scrap wood, at least the one I go to, they're not selling the scrap wood, but I can use that for like projects. Um, and yeah, so things that I do, I try not to break the bank you know, unless, you know, I really need to. And in this case with the butcher block, I'm not breaking the bank, but I'd rather just pay the money and just go ahead and just have it already done. And all I have to do is use my table saw to make the cuts, um, cut out the opening for, you know, the far uh, farmhouse sink, you know, but things like that, um, I don't mind spending the money for. But when it comes to things like this, this is stuff, you know, you can just do in your spare time. And like, honestly, I could have done this in like one day, but just on top of doing other things, you know, it just kind of, you know, it just kind of took longer than expected, you know, so, but I definitely wanted to keep you all in the loop as to what I'm doing. That is so right, uh, Tyrant, investing yourself. Yeah, because at the end of the day, once everything is finished, especially the uh, the backsplash and the countertop, those permanent fixtures, um, they add value to the home. You know, so, um, and the value, you know, 
my the property value now is still increasing you know where I live um, so to do these you know the hardwood floors um, the uh, the countertops you know all that stuff you know it really adds value to the home so you know you're right Tyrant why not invest in myself these things you know will definitely pay off in the long run all right Keith take care you have a nice evening and no problem thanks for watching okay good vibes only much love to you all right so guys the sun has gone down it's a little it's starting to get a little dark out here but um I'm gonna get ready to jump off too and uh, get something to eat and watch the leprechaun guys I've been watching the leprechaun movie like the, for the past three days so I watched leprechaun 1 leprechaun 2 leprechaun 3 um, I haven't seen leprechaun 4 that's the one a leprechaun in space but I watched Leprechaun in the Hood. Now I'm gonna watch Leprechaun Returns to the Hood. Like, I'm just doing all this because of like St. Patrick's Day, you know. What better way to celebrate it than to watch Leprechaun? You know, a classic movie. Yes. Yes, uh, Tyrant, Leprechaun in the Hood. <laughs> that was a funny one. That was a really funny one. Um, very corny, but <laughs> it was funny. Oh, I'm tickled. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it was, it, that video was made back in 2000, oh my gosh, 2003. 2003. So, you know, it, it was very corny. Like, it, you know, but it was a good video, a good movie. It was kind of funny and stuff, but uh, all that to say, I've been watching the series of Leprechaun, you know, just for uh, the sake of St. Patrick's Day and, you know, to celebrate that, you know, so. Um, but that's what I'm going to do after this video, and I'm going to fix a salad and sit back and relax. That's true, Tyrion. I don't know what they have. Yeah, we had the, uh, the most awesomest movies back in the day even tv shows cartoons too you know but um but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and get off because it is getting a little chilly out here and i think my alexa told me that it was going to be around like 30 something degrees tonight so uh i want to get in before i turn into an icicle and the next video you see will probably be me sniffling or something like that and we don't want that <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I love you all. Um, you all stay safe and um, continue to have an awesome week. And I will link up with you all um, probably um, on Friday. And uh, I'll definitely link up with you all when I get my Butcher Block countertop, okay? All right. So love you all. Take care. And always remember, good vibes only. <laughs>